Here I've started by taking apart two skateboards so that I can place the cardboard in here and get the shape of a board with the cardboard. So here are the boxes I'm going to be using to make my skateboard. And what I'm doing right here is I'm cutting off the flaps so that I can lay it down flat and uh, go ahead and make the layers for the skateboard. So I have to cut off the flats. I used it with a kitchen knife, which wasn't really a good idea, but it worked. Here you can see me laying it down. This is uh, this is how I'm gonna cut out the shape of the skateboard. And now I need to part to tie my trucks to, so I gotta get a plank of wood. And uh, that wasn't the best wood palette, as you can see in a second. Uh, it was hard to cut into. But basically what you're gonna need is just one little plank of wood to um, fasten your trucks to. And uh, yeah, you can see right here, that one didn't work good. It was kind of old and the nails were really far in there. So I ended up getting this piece of wood off of this pallet. So now I'm gonna go try to make some support. So here you can see how I'm going to layer the cardboard to uh, make a stable structure for the skateboard. And uh, I'm gonna place that wood right there so I can fasten my trucks to it. Uh, here what I'm doing is I'm taking some Gorilla Glue and make sure you gotta put gloves on. Uh, so I, first thing you wanna do is you wanna wet the surface uh, both surfaces then you want to uh, put some gor Gorilla Glue on the bottom part and uh, go ahead and just uh, glue it together so right here what I'm doing is I'm marking down where I'm gonna drill the holes to uh, keep my trucks in place and you can just use anything sharp. So here's an example of my first 3D shape. I'm gonna be uh, making rectangular prisms to um, create, uh, fill the gap in where I have the piece of wood where I'm placing my trucks and I'm taking the lids of the boxes I cut off and I'm gluing them together, it's three high so that when I have two layers on the bottom, I'm gonna have the wood piece in the middle, and then I fill up the surrounding areas with that rectangular prism right there. That way there's no gaps and the board uh, is still very strong. Here I'm putting ink on the cardboard so that it will transfer over to the wood piece. So here you can see my six rectangular prisms that I've placed around that uh, wooden plank in the middle. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the bottom of the rectangular prisms and the bottom of the skateboard which is the middle layer. And uh, I'm just going to glue them together and then I'm finally going to glue the, uh, the wooden plank uh, onto the surface and then I'll cover that with two more layers. So here I'm just making sure the whole surface is wet so that I can glue everything down to it and make sure it's all nice and sturdy. So right now I'm wetting the wooden plank so that I can glue it to the bottom of the surface right here. And uh, you want to make sure that it's all nice and uh, glued up because if not, it's not going to stay and it's just not going to be as strong. And then also right here, you want to make sure that your holes are lined up where you marked them so that you're, uh, first of all, so that your skateboard will ride straight and so nothing just gets messed up and it's not all like diagonal. So basically now all I'm doing is making sure it's all glued over so that I can attach all of the rest of the rectangular prisms. So I've already added the rest of the rectangular prisms and now I'm just making sure that the surface is all wet 
so I can add my Gorilla Glue and I can go ahead and attach the top layer to that. So now all I'm doing is adding weight so I can clamp them down and make sure that it glues so that everything is nice and tight. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a lot of weight on it and you're just going to have to let that sit overnight so that the Gorilla Glue can bond everything. So here what I'm doing is I'm just basically tracing out a rough, uh, just a rough sketch of what the board's going to look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and saw a little bit of the sides down just to make it easy to work with. And then uh, I'm going to be able to sand it down later. shorter version of what my board is you can see right here this is going to be the side I have the shape drawn out here so I'm going to cut it to later and then I'll draw the, the holes right here for the trucks later I realized that these two layers right here I don't really need because this is already super strong so I just don't want to like you know throw it off a little bit with these two layers so I'm going to keep it even with one big one right here one big one right here and then the two in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take these two layers off. Okay, here I went ahead and uh, I went off to cut that layer off. And uh, I just Use some sandpaper and I uh, sanded most of it now. Should be good for now. But that is rough. I've gone ahead and found out where I'm gonna put the holes. And I've dug down a little bit. So when I put the trucks down and I bolt them in, the, the bolt right here can actually go all the way through. So without that little cut in right there, it wouldn't be able to reach. And I might need to make a little small cut right here. Uh, just so the bolt can go in all the way and so that my trucks can stay on good I'll be able to roll. So now I have the holes through and I gotta chisel it down a little bit so that uh, the bolts can fit all the way through and hold the trucks because it's too thick. So I'm now chiseled down all the holes so that I can tighten the bolt to the truck. So now all I'm doing is spray painting the board just to make it look cool and also because it was really ugly with all the marks on it and uh, all the glue so uh, I'm making uh, a blue stripe on my board so I'm gonna cover the whole thing in blue and then I'm gonna put this piece of wood here so that I can have only that blue stripe and cover it up and then color the rest just kind of a dark brown color and have it look pretty nice So this is the final product, this is what my skateboard looks like. Uh, it was really fun to make, it took about two days and I uh, can't wait to ride it after it gets created.